ready? All right, here we go. Round one, outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Oh, there's the kick right underneath the elbow. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice punch land over the top. Powerful leg kick land. Ooh, head kick land is hurt. Just over three minutes to go. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh! fourth first round here. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that, and that many leg kick, they start to affect you. Start to affect that. He had it hurt. Wow! Gets up again here, but hurting. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard, hard to recall time in the past that this boxing was this short. This good. There's no give on that leg kick. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, nice. Big knee lands there. So a strong five minutes down. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good. You're okay. You got knocked down that round, but you're here to tell the tale. I want you to get back up. Are you ready? Second round here. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Nice leg kick land. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Big liberty land. Able to check that kick as well. Single collar tie now. And there comes the separation now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big head kick. Knee to the body. Oh, straight right. 
Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, nice offering. There. There's a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he'd have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hooked. Boom! He needs to start looking to finish now because... Oh, big knee! Back to the feet! Oh, he got one good, too. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he hurt him! Expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big kick land. A little single collar tie there. Uppercut lands for him. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Nice hook lands. Had a big knee to the body. We'll see if he can follow up. Oh, oh over the top. This fight's gonna be over. For sure. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. Oh, he didn't like that left hand. He's got him hurt here. Oh, he might be out. Six total strikes, and now landed for Alexander Gustafs. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh. and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, knee strike right to the bottom. Wow. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Tie. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lands the right hand. Five minutes in the books. All right, so a big knockdown in that last round. DC will show you the replay. Nearly had him out of there. He almost had him out. He had him gone. He hurt him real bad. He thought the fight was over, but the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be 
the final dance. Two underway. Liver kick. That's a good knee to the body. Look at the whip action that comes from him and that kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. To well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Missed with that attempt. Oh, there's that patented heavy leg kick. Big knee lands there. Oh, straight right. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, an obvious oh, limp there. His leg. Sure. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Way to hide that leg kick. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back. That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Some real power shots here. He is getting lit up right now, John. Oh, straight right. They separate. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Back and forth we go! Can't take many of those, you better check. Just missed with the left there. Oh, picture perfect body shot there. He's hurt. Unbelievable. That shot landed perfectly, and now he's got to be hurt. Gustafson gets touched by that leg kick attempt. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves it. All right, so that's the end of the round. He got some things done offensively, but defense still an issue. And as such, the cut on his lip is only getting worse. All right, so a big... Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. Oh, there. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow and a big moment in this fight. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Just misses. Oh, that's a good right hand. So he's really starting to put together some. Oh, oh, oh that's a right there, DC. He's rocked. That was a quick level change. Oh, he DC. went single, rotated head outside this dude for a while. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. 
Well, looks as though his leg, or you can even see him limping a little bit. Big punch lands over the top. Oh! oh he's gonna follow this one. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You gotta be careful. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Just over two minutes to go in our third and final round. Back to the feet now. Oh, that's a good strike there by Alexander Gustafson. Perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is gonna be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any... Wow! Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Outstanding execution down the stretch tonight. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be... All right, so here we go with round one. Classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. So Francis and Gano pretty patient here early on and moving on this jet. When you look at a guy like Francis, who has such tremendous power, fight behind a jab, it shows you how much he's up. And he gets the takedown. He gets the takedown and falls right into side control, exactly where he wants to be. Back to the feet now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, big left hook there. Three minutes and counting to go here in round one. Blocks the shot. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Back and forth we go. That uppercut will work. Just missed with the leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just over 20 total strikes have landed for Francis Ngannou. Ngannou's overhand punch to the head doesn't get to the target. He telegraphed that one, and it gets blocked. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fights. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Well, a lot of people think he might have the best jab in this division, certainly using it effectively here. I mean, one of the best jabs in the world across all combat sports. The way that it just comes out, it's beautiful. The backside hand is always at the... Look like it did stun him a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. That one's not good. Nice. Right. Oh, he gets on the feet. His opponent in a lot of 
trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's one of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Oh, big left hook there. Visibly limping here. Five minutes in the books. Second round underway. Big ball for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, huge left hand from Francis Ngannou. Every time he loads up and extends, you feel like the fight might be ending. Yeah, absolutely. And the whole crowd holds their breath. Right. right? You hear a big exhale. Every time Francis loads up to finish a fight, you hear the crowd take all the air in yeah. because they're ready to explode. That's the type of performer, that's the type of fighter that Francis is. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. Oh! Oh! oh over the top. This fight's going to be over this time. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay in the court. He mixed it up. He went high in the corner, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. And there comes the separation now. Oh, wow! Head kick! Good punch. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's done. He's done. Trying to stay in this fight. Oh! Oh! I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Bird over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh, man. How many head kicks can one man absorb before getting separated from his conscious? One, normally. <laughs> this guy has a great chin, but if he takes any more, he's going to be sleeping. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Big elbow there, Lance. Nice body kick. Just out of range with the big right hand. Nice loop of punch. Got the single collar tie. Strikes here in round two. Death row! Holy smokes! Put him to sleep! Back to the feet! Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Fifteen seconds. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Uh, uh, stop. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head start. Sit down, sit down. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go, third and final round. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really... Defense there, huge block for him. Over and over, he landed his big. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, Johnson. He's got to press it. Oh! To chase that finish up. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. What a fight. I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched blow. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, 
but neither guy should be dead. All right, so here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh! Oh! So both guys landing it well here. Good action early. Oh, big knee! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his moment. Both finish his fight. Oh, he got him real good, too. Oh, straight right. Oh, big left. Nice hook lands. An uppercut there. No problem. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Uh, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. So a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, Gregor gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Oh, big knee! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. Chase down that fifth. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He hurt him again. Oh! All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, nice strike by McGregor there. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker. And once again, that skill is... Superman punch. Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Visibly limping here. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Just misses with that one. Round two straight ahead. All right, let us now look back at some of the replays from that previous round, DC. And as far as flying knees go, that one was near perfection. Yeah, I mean, that was as perfectly timed as you're going to see a flying knee. He propelled himself off of the octagon canvas and landed. You got this one. You've been knocked down before. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two underway. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. That one was starting to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most skipped on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive oh, fighters knee. in the UFC. Wow. He's got him right here. Back to the feet. So he's really starting to put together some significant... Oh! He's out! It's over! It's over! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step 